Welcome back to another RPG Architect tutorial. Today we're going to do a map transfer. So with that said, let's get started. All right, so here we are in this project. I'm simply going to copy and paste this map. I'm going to right click copy, right click paste. Now you'll notice that it nests underneath this map right here. If you grab this icon and drag it out, it will take it out of that nest. And I'm going to rename it here, uh, map two. And there we go. That star right there means that it's something that we haven't saved. If you press control S, you can see that that star goes away. So you know what you're saving and whatnot. Also, one thing I want you to pay attention to is the ID right here. So map one ID is zero and map two ID is one. So if you want to name these according to their ID, you might throw map zero and let's just say map one. That way it makes more sense right off the gate, which number they are ID wise because you'll see on our scene transfer here, if we go to map zero, we're gonna to go to the entity layer and we're going to right click a new entity. We're going to just name this map transfer and the name of it will be uh, transfer to map two or to map one. That's right. And then right here, we're going to right click and we're gonna to go to map and we're gonna to say to move or to teleport. And right away, you can see where the map ID is placed. You can use global local variables, but you can also just type in a value like this. And that is kind of why I like naming them with the ID at the end. So that at quick glance out here, I can know what the map ID is instead of having to try to click on the map, which you can't do when you're in the database. So yeah, just throwing on that ID makes it really nice in your map name. So I want to transfer to map one because it's the next map there. And then we're going to set our X, Y, and Z coordinate. Now the Y, this is a 2D game, so I'm just gonna leave it at zero. But the Z, I just want it to be, let's just say it is, let's go eight, and then the X eight. So it'll go over eight and down eight. And then I'm gonna hit, the last thing that we gotta do actually is uh, put it on player touches entity. So that's gonna be the trigger, which then triggers the teleport. We're gonna click okay, and we can play test this. And there we go, we are in the water, but it worked. And so then if I wanted to make a transfer back, I would just simply, I'll just do right here and I'll forget the naming for right now, but we'll go transport back to zero and we'll go to uh, 12 and 12 when the player touches. And so now we can get some back and forth transfers to our scene. And there we go. Now, if you wanted a wider transfer area, you can go to this entity, you can control copy, and then just paste it, how big the area that you need. You can also just hit delete on these and it will delete those entities. So there are some cool hotkeys for moving around your entities. You can just click and drag as well. And so yeah, hopefully this video was helpful. Like, subscribe if you wanna see more RPG Architect content. Any questions, comments below, Steam forums, get you figured out. With that said, I'll see you at the next video.